as I was working with After Effects, and I was looking at the way keyframe animations were done, um, it, it began to remind me a lot of, of working with Flash. Um, and in Flash, it was a keyframe type of animation setup. Most animations are done very similarly. One of the features that Flash had was a way to do a path animation. <laughs> Excuse me, I was looking for some option that was similar to that, and there just so happens to be one. It's called Motion Sketch. So let's take a look. So I'm going to start a blank composition. I'm going to click New Composition. I'll take the default settings, 1920 by 1080. I'll make the background color light blue. Click OK. You can make the color anything you want. And I'm going to make a shape. I'm going to grab my ellipse tool, and I'm going to draw a circle on the screen, something like that. Now, what I want to do before I do my animation is I want to grab my pen behind anchor point tool. Let's select that shape. click on the layer, there we go. I'm gonna grab that pan behind anchor point tool and put that in the center of my shape. So that's very important for this to work properly. Okay, now that I've got the pan behind anchor point in the center of the shape, I'm gonna move the shape off screen on the left. And I can still see it even though it's off screen. And I'm gonna open up something called motion sketch. So I go to window and I choose motion sketch. When I open motion sketch, I also want to open up the smoother. So I've got Motion Sketch open. I come over here and I can do things like choose the smoothing and this capture speed. I'm going to leave everything at its default. I'm going to start with my object over on the left of my scrubber at the first frame. I'm going to click Start Capture. Now with my selection tool, I'm just going to click and drag on my object and drag it along the screen. So this works pretty well. It's not, it's not precise, but it does a very good job of motion capture, of a very simple motion sketch or motion capture. And there we go. Now, as you can see down here, when I open up the transform, that there are a ton of keyframes. And what it's done is it's captured every turn of my wrist. And so it's, it's not very smooth. So what I want to do is I want to go to window and open up the smoother. I'm going to go to the smoother and I'm going to set, uh, leave it to apply the spatial path. I'm going to set the tolerance to 30 and click apply. And that smooths out the path and makes it much smoother. Now I'm going to do one more thing and I'm going to Come down here, make sure that toggle switches and modes is set to my little symbols here. I'm going to open up the transform, select all of the keyframes, and I'm going to apply. I'm going to right click and I'm going to apply. Actually, it works better without the easy ease. I'm going to leave the easy ease off in this case, but I am going to turn on the motion blur. Let's try it one more time. And so it's, it's an imprecise way to animate, but it does capture uh, the, the motion sketch captures, that path animation of, the, of drawing a path on screen and have the computer capture it. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention.